Good morning. It's Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are a Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love. I hope that you are doing well. Today, I'm going to Miss Iyanla Von Zant's book, a New York bestseller, Acts of Faith. It was created over 25 years ago, but it is a great book. It has great sayings for every day of the week. Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. And that is by Epicurus. That's the person who wrote that quote. You must make yourself content with who you are and what you have if you want to be truly wealthy. Contentment does not mean you must stay where you are. It simply means you have no desperate needs. Contentment does not mean you cannot want and do more for yourself. It means you are at peace. The peace that contentment brings is a quiet peace of mind. With a peaceful mind, you can think and dream. You also get information about what to do. When your mind is not filled with desperation and doubt, it is prime for inspirational ideas. Our wants rob us of the peace of the moment. They keep us locked in deprivation and lack. When we are wanting, we are not grateful because we cannot see what we have. We must learn to be content in the abundance of where we are. If we ever want to move beyond that spot. And the quote at the bottom goes on to say, I am wealthy right here and right now. A reflection, just in case you do some journaling. How do you cultivate contentment and peace of mind? Come through, Iyala Van Zant. That lady, I tell you, this book is so right. I, and you probably say, this lady so old school, all I do is beat up on social media. It's not that. I love social media uh, to a certain degree. Of course, I'm on YouTube. But I just feel concerned for people who do not have social media discipline. I don't want our youth thinking flash and cash, shiny objects is where it's at. Is sending out the wrong message. And it's also causing a bit of laziness. Um, no, everybody shouldn't have to slave and, you know, grind it out with 12 hours a day. But sometimes hard work, it teaches us value. It teaches us discipline. If you get stuff easily, do you appreciate it? I think one of the biggest things, I think when I think of wealth, money, um, big house, big car, all of that stuff, vacations, fancy restaurants, jewelry. Why do you want those things? You should want those possessions for yourself. It's really not about Instagram or Facebook or YouTube showing off what you have. When I go to a Bulls game, it's because I love watching the Bulls. If I go on vacation, it's because I love the beach of Florida. It's not really to show off. Yeah, take a picture. And you want to remember those moments of being at the Bulls game, of being in Florida, visiting with my family. I love pictures, so I'm all for that. But I'm just saying, for me, I'm not trying to get approval of nobody because I just want to live my best life. One thing that I learned, um, especially as I'm getting older, I reflect back to some of my favorite times. It's like going on prom. Christmas with my mom and dad and my sisters, going down to Nashville, Tennessee to visit my relatives, driving down to Mobile, Alabama to visit my dad's family. Um, those are some of my best moments, dates with, you know, the love of my life, him taking me to all these different places, traveling with him. Those are some of my best moments, singing in the choir. I used to love singing in the choir, um, singing in the studio. I've been in the studio. Getting my master's degree, that whole program was enlightening for me. Uh, spending time with my mom watching New Jack City. I love New Jack City. Opening gifts on Christmas. Um, that was such a good time. Sitting on the couch with dad watching the Cubs game. 
going fishing with my dad. I'm just saying all that to say the moments where I was at my best and I was happiest really doesn't involve like a stack of cash or um, some shiny shoe, red bottom shoe and all of that. Yep, I love nice things just like you. And don't talk about no hair. I love to keep my hair together. So I'm not saying be a bum or be lowly. I don't believe in that. But I believe in being content with what you have. Paul speaks of that in the Bible. You you have to be content when you have a lot. You have to learn to be content when you have a little. I remember how desperate I was to get my first house with my ex-husband. Oh, I want this house so bad. I would go in front of it, pray. And yeah, we got it. And it was a great feeling. I was only 25 when we bought that house. But I hated being in that house because it was filled with uh, discord. It was filled with abuse. And I'll never forget that lesson. So as the years progressed, I you know went and got my own apartment after the divorce. And I remember one time I lived up north briefly. I had a six-month sublease. I subleased somebody's studio apartment. That was the best apartment. It was so cozy. I ended up uh, adopting two cats. And it was me and those two cats in that studio apartment. But it was a nice-sized studio. But I just remember being so happy in that apartment. And I had another apartment up north. And I remember being so happy in that apartment because I could see weddings every day. Every day. Oh, no. Every weekend. It was a big Catholic church across the street from me. So I would just look out the window and see the wedding, see what colors they had on. And I just remember being happy, like where I live now. Very, very happy. I love the environment. I love the neighborhood and I love my apartment. So it's all about being content. And guess what? If I bought me a three-bedroom home or if I lived in a condo, or I'm more of a high-rise girl, by the way, you are. I like a nice high-rise, spacious high-rise condo apartment with all the amenities. That's my style. More, I um, guess, a little bit of a city slicker, but I would have a high-rise condo in the suburbs. That's that's what I like for now. But... Um, it's just showing you you could be content. It's not about the things. It's, contentment comes from inside. Um, it's just you got to be careful in this society we live in. You can get caught up chasing wealth. Yes, you want to have reserve money. You want to have money. It, the best way to live is to pay cash for everything. Now, that's if you talk about wealth, you paying cash for everything, you good. You know, that's to me, that's how I want to roll. But don't get caught up. And I like some of the stuff that is said also. When your mind is not filled with desperation and doubt, it is primed for inspirational ideas. I had to really agree with this. Let's just say you are very emotional or you are, okay, let's go with love, desperation. That's what makes me think. <laughs> or, or desperate for a job or your business to take off. It seems like the more desperate you are for love, it repels it. The more desperate you are for, you know, views on YouTube or I want my subscribers to grow. It seems like it doesn't quite work. But when you let go and you let God and release the need to control and stop caring as much, it always works out. And I I always speak about love because I remember so many... You know, not so many, but it was quite a few times where I did have an interest in a guy and they stopped pulling away. And then I said, oh, forget it. And Lord behold, this has happened quite a few times. They are calling my phone. It's like, huh? Like, I don't don't forget all about that guy. And anytime I mention these type of scenarios, it's always 20 years ago. That's when I did it. Look, that's when I did it all. Um, But it's, it's true. Take your energy off of something or someone and it will come to you. I told this story. You all probably heard it if you follow my channel. I did not like my job in HR after I got my grad degree. I hated being in a call. It was an HR call center. A good company. A lot of company. But I just did not like answering those calls. It annoyed me. So much energy went out. And I was so desperate. I was just applying, applying, applying for new jobs. In my social work field, nothing. I'm like, what is going on? I have the internship experience. I have my master's degree. What is going on? I'm so desperate. I just stopped. I stopped for like three, four months. 
One day I came back home, still not liking my job, and I literally said loudly, I deserve better. And I started applying again, but I did not have that desperation. Those people were calling me left and right. I ended up with five interviews, and then I had to pick. So see, once you take that desperation off, once you are not as emotional Things will come to you. As the book stated, wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. Take a look around your house. Go look in your closet. If you look in your freezer, if it looks like mine, oh my goodness. I I don't think I can get too much more in there. And I'm going to tell y'all what happened. I did an Amazon order. They brought me 10 Amazon dinners by accident. So somebody was highly pissed because I end up with all this food and you know, they can't come back and get it, especially due to COVID. So I'm sure the other person got their credit, but I have so much food in there and those dinners are quite delicious, by the way, if you all don't order from Amazon fresh, but I'm just trying to say how blessed I am. All that food. I have clothes in my closet. I never wear shoes. I got so many new pair of shoes. I bought quite a few this summer. I haven't worn any of those. It's just a waste of money, abundance of stuff. Take a look around. But you got to be grateful for all that stuff you have. And that's when God makes room for more. So um, try to give away stuff you're not using. And be grateful for what you have. Whatever you want. A new job. A new career. A new degree. A new relationship. um, A new car. You want to pay off some debt. You want to obtain wealth you want to save for retirement you want to learn a new instrument you want to you know learn how to cook whatever you want learn a new language you can have everything you want but i truly believe it starts with gratitude wealth you want to talk about wealth i i put my money on my health i buy so many vitamins i I put my money on my health i stick with my doctors because if i'm not healthy i cannot obtain wealth If I'm not healthy, how can I be wealthy? All righty, you all. That's all I got for you. Have a beautiful day. Thank you all so much for supporting my channel. It is just a blessing. Love you all so much. God bless you all. Take care. Bye-bye.